How many times have we heard students or even ourselves say, when will I ever use this in real life? Mr. Hayes is showing his students just how science can be used in the real world by using YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter as an extension of his classroom. But it's his YouTube channel that's getting all the buzz. The kids just think I think science is always looking through a microscope in a lab setting, and it's not. It's your dentist, it's your orthopedic surgeon, it's uh, people that are doing blood testing, um, it's people that are doing meteorology and telling you the weather on the news. Um, you know, science is so much bigger than what students imagine. Hayes runs through lesson plans, reviews tests, shows experiments, and even takes students under the sea during a recent summer trip. His innovative way of teaching is called Get Connected with Mr. Hayes, updating the classroom to better suit the 21st century student. You know, for ourselves as adults, we're not looking to books anymore to find the things we're looking for, and neither are students, and we shouldn't expect them to do the things in the old way that people just aren't doing these days. Um, academically, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, I started a 9 o'clock challenge on Facebook that's going every night at 9 o'clock, even through the weekends and on holidays, and they compete for silly prizes. It's things that I'm teaching in my class. For students, they say they're excited to see their teachers catching up to their tech-savvy ways makes me feel more connected to the world so I can know more what's out there than just what's in here. He says it's also helpful for students who need that extra study time or for those who are absent. They can just connect to the internet and get started. Kids, can, kids that have special needs or kids that are struggling, they can continually review the content from my classroom by going online and watching it at their own pace. They can rewind it, they can pause it. Um, it's just a great alternative to just being in the classroom and hearing it once. Hayes says he also encourages parents to get involved to see what their students are up to while at school. Back to you.